Hey, iPod Touch A Team here. Today I'm going to show you how to hack your iPod Touch using WinPone 2.5 uh, Beta 1. What's really cool about this one, about this version, is that you can jailbreak any version of 2.0, which is 2.0, 2.1, and 2.2. Uh, first thing you need to do is download the firmware 2.2. I will have a link in my video for it and uninstall any other versions of WinPone. Uh, now, since you've done those things, you can now install the file. It's a rapid share link, so if you don't, if you're not a free use, if you're not a premium user, you can't download it very fast. So it might take a little while. Okay, what, hold on. Sorry about that. Now what you have to do is go to where you download where you downloaded the file. I just have it on my desktop. Unzip it. Oh, sorry. If you already done it, if I mean I already done it, so I don't have to. Just unzip it. You'll get a setup. So just double click on that. Then you will have a shortcut. Double click on that. Now this will pop up. Um, I'll show you how to do this in just a second. I'll, first I'll show you what these buttons up here are for. Restart is in case you mess anything up or you just want to start from the very beginning. Just click that. You can do that at any time. Custom is if you want to make your own custom firmware, or you could just do a quick phone, which is you you get all the default default things. Expert mode, I recommend really recommend turning it on. If you do, this will turn up, and you get to see all the steps when you start jailbreaking. And if you don't turn it on, you'll just get all the basic stuff. Now, if you want to do it really quickly. Just click that. If you do expert mode, which I'm going to do, it's going to take just a bit longer, but it's worth it. So click iPod Touch if you have an iPod Touch. Click iPhone or 3G iPhone if you have those. So I'm going to click 2.02. .02. Now, this won't actually work if you click this because you probably don't have it saved in the iTunes section of your computer the you don't have the firmware saved there so it doesn't so it doesn't really matter which one you pick I'm just gonna pick the newest one right now because after once you're finished selecting all your things in the custom firmware I mean once you finish editing your options or whatever um, a pop-up will show up saying you can't find it and you have to click click on the one that you want to so after I'm done since I'm done with that I'm going to click next do you want to install YouTube activation if you have an iPod touch you don't have to do it if you have an iPhone or iPhone 3G you should do it so I'm going to click no do you want to install Clydia yes installer 4.0 yes do you want to resize root partition that's how much space is on how that's how much space is on the root which is how much applications you get to install so I'm just going to click yes I want to have more do you want to wipe your iPod no, do not do this, because when you restore your iPod Touch in Installer, it will do it for you, so it's just a waste of time doing it now. Do you want to use custom boot restore logos? Yes. If you don't, that's fine. You'll just get an Apple. But if you click yes, you will get some really cool boot logos or whatever you want so now I'm just re um, selecting how much space I want I guess I'm just gonna do maybe 100, 110 because I want to install lots of apps now you get to choose which kind of boot logo and restore logo since the server not server but too many people have tried to edit I mean tried to use uh, search online it's not gonna work it's just gonna show a black screen Hopefully they can get that fixed sooner or later.
same thing with that. But if you want, if you already have one saved, you just make sure this is on and press search, and you can go anywhere and put any file. I'm just gonna keep it the way it is. So I'm just gonna click next. It will say hashing the firmware. It will not, and it says searching for files. A pop-up will show up. If it doesn't, I guess it's fine. Will show up saying that it cannot find the firmware, and you would have, to, and you will have to put it in yourself. So I will do that right now. Well, it should pop up right now. Here it is. Uh, hasn't found an invalid hash. Do you want to search for another file? Yes. So I'm just gonna click on the one I have, and that is iPod one slash one underscore two point oh two five C whatever. Just click that, and it will say Windtone is searching for files. It's just gonna take another second for it to show the next pop-up thing where you want to put your custom firmware and that will just be in a second just hold on yeah there we go now I'm gonna put it in a folder in hack 2.2 2.2 and press save you can you can put it anywhere it doesn't matter so right now it's just gonna build the ISPW IPSW file and we'll stay all of these things that's just fine and it will take a while so I'm just gonna stop the video and start it again when it's done so see you then